The following is part of AB Machinery series of AB Plastic Injector Operational Videos. This video will introduce the AB200 Semi-Automatic Tabletop Plastic Injector. Setting up your AB200 Plastic Injector is very simple. Locate the unit on a flat and stable surface and connect the unit to both power and air pressure sources. Note that the unit is available in both 110 and 220 volts. Because we know many of you are interested in seeing the unit operate, we will start this video by running through an injection sequence so that you can see the machine in action. Afterwards, we will describe the core components and focus on the features of the machine. First, turn on the machine and set the injection chamber temperature controller to the desired temperature. Add plastic into the heating chamber by depressing the hopper lever. Set the steel mold into the injection area, setting the adjustable mold stop to align the mold orifice with the sprue center line. We set the appropriate injection pressure, injection time, clamp pressure, and mold clamp time, as well as our mold ejection force. We then press the two start buttons simultaneously and wait for the injection cycle to complete. The machine clamps the mold, injects the material, then unclamps and ejects the mold. The operator opens the mold and removes the part and closes the mold to prepare for the next injection. We'll run it through one more time so that you can see the injection cycle again. Now let's review the components of this workstation from top to bottom. Sitting on top of its aircraft spec aluminum body, is a 4-inch injection cylinder capable of over 6300 PSI at 125 PSI line in. Located to the left side is a material hopper. Directly underneath the injection cylinder and behind the transparent safety guard are the stainless steel piston and injection chamber funnel entrance. Below this and behind the safety red heat shield is the heated stainless steel injection chamber. The area below this will be the area for your mold. Below the injection chamber and to the side of the injector base is an adjustable mold stop with automatic ejector. Facing the mold area is a powerful 2.5 ton air hydraulic clamp. Okay. Now let's look at the control panel. The on off switch is located at the bottom left hand side of the control panel. Situated on either side of the control panel are two cycle start buttons. They must be, they must be depressed simultaneously to initiate the injection cycle. The programmable temperature controller is located on the left side. The unit also features a built-in resettable production counter. The injection time and clamp time controllers are located towards the left side of the control panel and the injection pressure and clamp pressure controls are located to the right side of the control panel. The smaller knob below the right activation button controls the mold ejector force. All pneumatic devices are of the no-loop design, making the machines ideal for medical and other clean room applications. Thank you for watching our video. For more information, you can consult our website at abplasticinjectors.com or abmachinery.com.